I recently got a Steam Deck. I went for the 64GB base model and immediately tossed in a 512GB SSD, adding 8 times the amount of storage for just $50, which is pretty sweet compared to what Valve is asking. Now, upon opening it up, I noticed a few differences to the tutorials online that hadn't really been covered by many other YouTubers or even news article websites, so today I'm going to be cracking it open once more and showing you what's new. You want to fully shut down the Steam Deck. So, Steam, Power, shut down. Do that first. Actually, I'm going to put that at the front. To start, you're going to want to take the case that your Steam Deck came with and pop it in face down. That way, you won't damage the sticks or anything while you're opening it up. Next step is to take a screwdriver. I got this cheap toolkit for about 20 bucks off Amazon, so really anything will work. You probably have one laying around that'll fit. And we're gonna undo these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. So let's flash forward. This screw is very important because it actually holds down the new heat shield on the inside. Once you've removed all the screws and set them aside very neatly, you're going to want to pry it open. This is my least favorite part because it is the hardest. So what you're going to need is a pry tool. So once you've got it in at one point, you can work your way all the way around. It's a lot easier the second time. First time it did take me quite a while. And one other thing that I've just remembered, you want to fully shut down the Steam Deck. Continuing on with the prying, you just wanna work all the way around until you reach a point where you can just pull it away and voila, set this aside. And we now have access to the inside of the Steam Deck. Now, I think this looks really cool, personally, but that's my opinion. Let's see if we can get you a better, better view. And the biggest change that you'll immediately see is this new heat plate. In older versions, it was kind of a silver and copper, and it was held down with three screws. And one of them was actually here, underneath some tape. I'll put some pictures up of it while I'm talking so you can get a better idea. And now you'll see there's actually only two screws to remove, one at the top here and one at the bottom here. And the one here was actually this one here. So we don't have to worry about three screws, it's just two now. So I'm gonna remove those two so you can see any other differences. I'm pretty sure it's all the same once you get past this, but just get an idea of what it looks like. Hey, future me here. So one other thing I've just noticed is that on top of this screw using this one, this other screw here that I missed uses this bottom case screw as well to fully screw in. So that's one other change. Okay, that's all. Now, this part scared me the first time because it does feel like there's one more point where it's holding on, but you don't have to worry about it. It's just kind of held down because of these. These adhesive pads cover these, and that's what causes it to kind of have some resistance when you're trying to pull it away, but it's, it's kind of just stuck down. It's, it'll come off easily enough. Once we get under here, I believe this is a little bit different from before, this whole clamp holding it down over the heat sink. Everything else is the same. One thing I was worried about was which fan I was gonna get. Because in the previous models, there was two types of fans that you could get. You could get the really loud and annoying Delta fan, or you could get the less loud but still annoying Huyang fan. 
But as we can see here, this is neither. It is actually a new type of fan. I'll get a better photo of the actual fins so you can see kind of compare it to the other two, but it is neither. And everything else is very similar. Same battery capacity, triggers, all that. Uh, here's the SSD I put in. Very easy, just undo this screw, pull out the old one. This film was on the previous one, so you want to put the film on the new one. But other than that, once you got it in, everything goes back on in reverse pretty much, and then you're all set to go. Fan noise. The fan noise I've noticed is pretty quiet, surprisingly. I was expecting it to be much more loud and annoying, but at 15 watts or full, full tilt, it'll be kind of audible, but if you have headphones on, you won't be able to hear it. It's a very low hum, or low whir, I guess is more accurate, but it's not annoying at all. So I'm very happy with that, and I'm very happy with the performance of this thing. So that's all the differences. I hope that this video was helpful to you in any way. If you'd just gotten your Steam Deck and you opened it up and you've gone, what the hell, this is not like the tutorial. It's absolutely fine. You can get on with your upgrade or whatever you're going to do and not worry at all. All right, peace. On a completely unrelated note, I've noticed after opening it up that the Steam Deck is actually quite thin and a lot of the bulk of the handles is added by the back mount and these buttons. So in future, it'd be really cool if someone could design a replacement of this that is actually quite slim. I think that would be very cool.